Hi, it's Gene, retired in Mexico. No bumper, we're going to get right into it. 133 favorite artists, number 108. Now, it sounds like a lot, but, you know, 133, there are so many good artists and there's so many people I left off the list. So I've got the criteria below. Basically, I made playlists for all these artists, including this artist. You can go down below and you can click on it and play my 80 minute playlist, eight zero minutes which is the length of, you know, what a CD can hold. And so, and then have I seen the artists live? You know, do I read articles about them? What's my general interest? So that's what I did. And if you want to support me, uh, hit the like or subscribe button. I also have a Patreon uh, page. The link is below. Appreciate anything you guys can do. Just watching this video alone, this is... Uh, original content it'll help me out but yeah we got a good one today we got a good one and if i give you any hints at all you're gonna know right away if i tell you where the artist is from um, but i'll tell you that the artist started in 1977 and is still going strong today and the artist is 58 years old which is not a lot younger than i am so kind of surprising perhaps but if i told you um that it's a woman and she was born in Reykjavik, iceland there you go no doubt right you figured it out talking of course of bjork have i seen bjork in concert technically yes technically i have i saw her band the sugar cubes before she went uh solo so before debut, um, and I used to have that CD, I sold it, I think it was called Life is Good or something like that, and uh, yeah, Sugar Cubes, got to see them, I didn't know she was going to blow up and be a big star, but I appreciated it, so how's that for an early sighting, yeah, and uh, so for physical copies, I'll show you what I've got here, I've got quite a bit, and I pulled these out from a uh, binder, but I have debut and post here. And then I also have Selma Songs and Vespertine. And then I also have Medulla right next to this Black Sabbath album. So. Uh, yeah, I keep some of my CDs in, in, in binders. And and I used to have Volta and Volnacura on in um, Digipacks, but I sold I sold Volcanura and it, that was kind of a, a collectible version of it. Um, yeah, it was it was a double C D and it was special edition. But because I moved to Mexico and it was kind of fat I, I went ahead and sold it and used the money to move down here and then Volta I think is down at the record store here I think that's still technically in my possession but what do I like about Bjork yeah everything she's an artist who's weird and wonderful right my favorite album is Vespertine in fact I did a ranking of Bjork's 21st century albums and my favorite 21st century songs. If you want to see it, go to the playlist for uh, legacy rankings, legacy artist rankings. I forget what it's called exactly. But yeah, yeah, I love her and I'm always reading up on her and interested in what she's doing. Of course, she's a fashion plate too and a DJ and all these other things. And I find her just fascinating and what a voice totally unique signature sound and the way that she merges pop music with electronics and has these really out there lyrics vespertine you know a song like uh, cocoon or pagan poetry so intimate and she's really bringing you into the feminine experience and yeah i think it's wonderful she and joni mitchell are two artists that just make me help me understand the feminine experience so yeah but she's uh she's tough as nails too isn't she so she's everything um i i, 
I can't say enough about her. I can't believe she's only 108. But that's how uh, deep this uh, list of artists is. So thank you for joining me. Uh, let me know what you think. And as we say here in Bonita, Mexico, buen dia.